Hello everyone, um, I am Sankrit and uh, this is a small tutorial uh, on how to make this. This is the uh, gun which was which will be which, which was given to Will Smith in the MIB movie. It's called the cricket, the noisy cricket and I'll show you how to model it. So I'll just go, I won't be creating a time lapse or a step by step tutorial but I will surely explain how I uh, went about creating this. So this is my timeline here. I'll go to the beginning of my timeline. And so I first I first imported um, this picture here. Will Smith holding the uh, gun. And then I created a sketch. This one. So I created the sketch where I just traced out the handle and the trigger and created some more uh, construction lines which I would use later. From there I just extruded uh, I extruded the body as you can see this. So that's about uh, 15 mm in length in thickness and then I extruded this one and then finally the trigger so then I filleted uh, no I created this plane so I created this plane because uh, I wanted to create this um, I don't know what it's called I'm gonna call, call it barrel so whatever that thing is called and then on that plane where is that plane? So on this plane, uh, I create, I made a circle, the circle, and then I extruded that till here, till till there, and then I went about creating more uh, planes at each step. So I created one there, one there. At every construction line, I created a plane so that I can. Um, you know create another circle and then loft them together so that's my circle and then uh, this is the, uh, I created this sketch on my front plane uh, so that I get so the loft doesn't go straight from this circle to this circle but it has a rail that it can travel along and then that's my loft i'll just hide the canvas from here which yeah. so you can see so the, the loft travels along that rail and then another extrude so let's fast forward so I, I went about creating more sketches. Let's hide the bodies for now and I'll show the canvas. So as you can see, I created many sketches here. This one, all the pieces. And then we, and then extruded and filleted wherever it was necessary to. I did that so while extruding i i made sure that i kept as many body as many new bodies as possible because i didn't want to combine any of them because at the end i would just make components from each of the bodies so that it would be easier for me to animate and also if i wanted i need to assign different appearances or different materials to each uh, each part of this gun i could do that without without any problem so this is my fillet right there and fast forward to mm, yeah, let's fast forward there 
so this is the this is the detail so now that my most of the paste uh, the gun is done already so i just have to fill in some of the details and so if you see my canvas you can see that there are these grooves in the gun so to make that i just i went back to this sketch and then i made this circle here and then i extruded that circle this way uh, so that it cuts this body so i just made it. and then i just made a, a circular pattern uh, along this along the circle along this body around this body and once i did uh, once i did that i filleted all of them filleted all of them so that they look cleaner and more realistic and this is another plane which i and this is a plane along the path so i wanted to make um, these details there so first i had to make this plane here and then what i did i created a sketch like that so this is just an arc a circular arc along this plane which is slightly offset from this body okay so it does not um, yeah you can see so this is the line here and it's this is the body and then i uh, i along this line i created created another plane this plane and on that plane this is what i drew i just drew a circle there so once i did that i swept that's oops 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 oh no 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 okay yeah so using the sweep a feature sweep tool i just swept it so that it cuts this body this way so i i did not have the exact measurements obviously so it was it was a trial and error so i i started off small and then uh, gradually increased the radius of my circle to match uh, these grooves there and just like these ones with these ones i filleted these two ends using this one and then uh, i rect a rectangular pattern here and then i mirrored the hole uh, about that about my uh, about my front plane so that it came on the other side and this is what i ended up with so this is what i ended, ended up with and now if if you look here this thing is a solid body but i wanted it to look more like a barrel which means it like a tube so it had to be hollow from the inside so and using the shell command i was able to hollow it out to, to i don't remember the length uh, the radius and then some more sketches and finally so there there was this body i removed now here comes the interesting part these um so i drew this sketch this was this, this the whole thing this and this was one single body so i just drew this sketch on, on this body and uh, uh this one uh, coming from there to here and i split this body into two because i wanted this uh, to have a different appearance than this one so i gave this a carbon fiber appearance and this one a golden appearance now where is it never mind okay so i drew these sketches because uh, from after drawing these i went to my form where using the 
pipe. Now using the pipe feature, I uh, made pipes along this path and then and close them. So I got many bodies there. So using those body uh, bodies, I made I cut them into uh, this body here and then I was able to get get this de get this detail okay and uh, yeah so I I mirrored them across so this mirror this mirror uh, I didn't do the uh, I didn't mirror this in the design workspace I did it in the uh, form workspace because for some reason it wasn't working in the design workspace and then finally I was done with my gun done with me so if I close that and that and I'll hide my sketches and my construction so you can see that this is my uh, gun so I had all of these or uh, each one of these were separate bodies so what I did I just right clicked on each of them and I chose this one create components from bodies and that's what you see here And that's it. So we have uh, each co uh, we have one component for each of the each of the bodies, and so that uh, that not only lets you to assign mater materials to each component easily, each part easily, but also in the when you when you are in the animation workspace, everything gets the whole animation and uh, everything gets very easy. And then you can render it however you want using your custom environment or the uh, environments that fusion provides so that's a small i don't know if you can call it a tutorial but yeah if you follow along so and uh, you can even tweak it on your own so you can give it a try and it's to be honest it's not very difficult to make this but it might, uh, if you are a beginner and the videos that I'm making are mostly intended uh, for beginners to watch. So you might need to, you know, uh, think a uh, think little bit more, a little more about what's going on or what what you could do differently, and uh, add your own features or tweak it a bit. So that's it. If you watch till here, thank you so much. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.